Hey everyone, so hopefully this is my last video in this outfit for you, for you guys. Um, today is kind of inspired by a fellow guru um, video. Shades of Kasi, I believe. Her name is Kasi or it's Casey. I don't think it's Casey. I think it's Kasi. If I'm wrong, y'all know I'm horrible. Like if you know me for any length of time on YouTube, you know that I'm horrible at pronouncing people's names. Um, so she does this video and it's called like my makeup box for like a certain month. I think she used to do it weekly or bi-weekly, uh, but now I just think it's uh, monthly, like what products she's really trying to like use up or just use more of. And so I thought that, like I was like really interested in that because I used to have like a makeup box, like my everyday box. And since getting this desk, I kind of just have everything in their own like little world. So I decided that I kind of wanted to make myself use up certain products that I've hit pan on, that I'm really enjoying, that I just want to keep using. So I thought I would share with you guys what my uh, April month, my April makeup box is, I guess. And hopefully by the end of the month, I will be completely gone with some of these items, so I can do kind of a beauty products I've used up video because I have a box started, but there's more like skincare and body than there is makeup, so I really want to get into these. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, I'll start with. Uh, skincare and then just do the, like the layers on. Um, my two moisturizers that I've been using a lot, as you can see, this is a Cebu Beauty uh, C Buckthorn Day Daytime Facial Cream and I'm almost out, which stinks because I don't have the money to buy um, this stuff again. It's just not in my budget. I got this uh, Cyber Monday for 65% off like all my skincare. Two things go great together and they do and it, I put this on with my nighttime moisturizer as well. So this is the hydrating serum and I love love these so that's gonna be a sad day because I, I think this is gonna last me like another week. Um, next would be primers. There's two primers which is weird for me because I always just use one primer but for Christmas I got a benefit kind of like trial size like little mini sample box thing um, and, and it was the professional. I had no desire to try it. I didn't really care because I was using this one but I love this stuff. Um, this is it up close. It kind of has that Smashbox photo finish or photo ready um, feel like the whole silicone thing and I hated that and that always made me break out no matter, let me sit back on my chair a little bit, no matter like which one I use, the green one, the clear clear one for like sensitive skin, it always made me break out so I was like oh let's just, let's just try this and I love it. It makes my makeup stay on so perfectly and I just, I love this and it's almost gone so I'm going to try to finish that up and then finish, ooh, oh, I almost caught it. Okay, and then try to finish up my MAC Prep and Prime. I think I'm right there. Um, I wanna finish both of them up and then I'm gonna buy the full size version of the Benefit one. I used to like swear by this and I was like trying like all these different ones um, and I would always come back to this, but this one is just, I love this, flawless. Um, next would be foundation. There's two that I'm trying to get through right now. Um, one, I well, I love both of them. I need to scoot forward, I guess. Um, I really love both of them. This first one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation with SPF of 15. And it's great. This is my everyday foundation. Um, it's long wear makeup, oil free, and waterproof. It does last a very long time on me. Um, and it doesn't, like if I use it back to back to back, it doesn't do anything to my skin. It doesn't pull any faster, like away from my skin. I really love this and I think I'm like right about there. And oh, I love this stuff, but I can't wear it every single day. This is the Estee Lauder, Lauder, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. Um, this is in the color Shell and it has an SPF of 10. Yeah, SPF of 10. I love this. I lo it's, I don't know if you can see, I'm right there. I love this stuff. It stays on so long. It doesn't clog my pores. It doesn't like make me break out or anything, but if I use it daily, like if I use it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it just peels away from my skin. I have I have dry skin and that's uh, very matte and it's really good for oily skin. So I have to lather on the moisturizer and then put that on. But even if I try to like lather on like a lot of moisturizer the night before, if I try to do it like every day, it just doesn't work. Ooh, I just had a little cough attack. <laughs> um, moving on to powders, I have two, oh sorry, my eyes are watering. I have two out of, oh my, I have so many powders now just because I was trying to find like darker ones for contour and it didn't work. So I have two that I'm trying to get through. The first one would be my all time favorite. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte and Transparent. You can see I've already gone through one uh, during February so I'm trying to get through this one. 
love it, but I'm not going to repurchase it until I'm done with all the rest of my powders. Ugh. And then this one. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Serum Absolute. Oh, this stuff is horrible. It oxidizes on my skin and it makes me like have like, if I put it all over, it makes like right here completely orange. It's like the weirdest thing. And I've hit pan on it. So I'm just trying to use it up. The only place I put it now is on my cheekbones because I don't mind if it's darker there. If it does turn, it just makes my blush a little bit more of a different color and not my face. So it looks very harsh right now, but it's just the lighting. Um, See, I'm just trying to get rid of that so I can get throw it away. I have the foundation. I ended up just putting in my products I've used up box just to get rid of it. Um, next would be, I guess, mm, I didn't pick a specific blush because I just recently got a bunch in and then I've been kind of becoming like a little blush hoarder. Um, and so I don't want to force myself just to use one since I do have so many. I kind of want to just like do a different one every single day. But the one I have been layering on with almost every single pink blush that I use is this Alpha Girl from the Heatherette collection because I swear I swear I hit pan on this a year ago and it's like still kicking. And usually like with special edition items, I'm like, oh I don't want to use it up. But I've had this for so long that I'm just ready to say goodbye and <laughs> well keep the packaging. I'm gonna depot this and then when I buy um, an MSF natural put that in here. Um just because I mean hello gorgeous packaging of course I love it um, and next would be eyes um, I don't have a specific base that I'm trying to get rid of or use um, I kind of hit pan on one but I don't like using it every single day so I'm just gonna stay away from bases but the eyeshadows that I've been trying to get through for so long that I'm doing good on are these four we have llama no lies llama <laughs> soft brown uh, white frost and all that glitters and I'm still trying to get through these and like Llama is doing so good because I just put that all over my entire eye and then these are crease and that's brow bone so I'm really I'm really doing good I hope that I'm done with Llama in April and soft brown and I'm just gonna have to wear makeup every single day so I can like start getting rid of more products because I I started a list of like my beauty wish list you guys know of and then I started a list of beauty products that I've used up and I'm writing down the total and I kind of want to see at the end of the year what the total is from the things that I've purchased and the things that I've gotten rid of to see like if I'm balancing myself out enough. Um, two eyeliners that I am trying to use up because I love them. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in black. This is the only black eyeliner I'm using right now. Well, pencil liner. The other one is my Milani Eye Tech. And then this NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Brown. I have two brown eyeliners and I just keep using this one. So I'm going to see, I, I, that's what I have on today. I have the brown on. I love this. Um, next with the eyes would be mascaras. I have four open right now, which is totally like not my norm. But I received two from a friend from Jolene. Um, and I just, I had to open them. So it's weird that I have four. So I'm going to really, really try to kick myself to keep using these up. This is the Maybelline Falsies Volume in Flared. I'm almost done with this. This one's getting kind of where that point where it's a little dry. And then this is a Lash Blast by CoverGirl. I pair these together. Um, and this is my mascaras that I've been using. I don't, I didn't use it today. I used my other two. Um, the... One, one by one volume express from Maybelline and then on top of that I put the They're Real from Benefit. So that's what I have on today. And then eyebrows. I just recently bleached my eyebrows just to get them out of that really dark brown. So now they're kind of like a really light soft brown. I'm loving it and the one that I'm trying to use up this is from the Anastasia, I don't know, Anastasia, whatever it is, Beverly Hills. This is the Golden Blonde powder duo and I'm using this side I've been using this for a good two years and like I want it gone I love it it's a great powder but I just I've been seeing the pan forever and I just want it gone all right the last thing are three lipsticks that I'm trying to use up um now two of them are my all-time favorites and it's sad that they're going but I just I don't like keeping makeup in my collection um, and not use it so I was like trying not to use this stuff just because I love it and I'm like no that's that's not you that's no use it so I've been using it a lot lately and this one is 3N and this is as nude as I go and I'll do a little swatchy swatcher sin of it there we go 
It's like a peachy, peachy nude. Um, the next one is Creme de la Nude. I love this. It's like um, a mauve nude, I guess you can say, and it shows up gorgeous. This is like my new My Lips But Better with a tint kind of thing. Um, and I just, I love this. It's right there. Now on you, these will not come out like the swatches because everybody's lips are a different pigmentation. So it's really good to try on stuff that you are interested in or don't really know. So the next one is Ahoy there. This is my all-time favorite lipstick. I just love this and it's, it's, I hope I'm done with this in March, I mean April, just so I can have the satisfaction of finishing a lipstick because it has been so long since I've back to Mac a lipstick that I've used up. And that's the swatch right there. This used to be, this is like my lips but better with no tint. Like that's my lips without lipstick. So those are those three. And I really hope I get through the Ahoy there in the 3N during the March of April. <laughs> during the month of April. Um, so yeah, that is my beauty box for April. So if I do um, use these products in a tutorial, you'll know that I'm just trying to really like use them up. And I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.